Autumn. I'm with Diventures and today we are here at the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium to do a special shark tour in honor of Shark Week. During this tour we will be going through the aquarium to find six of the nine species that are located here at the aquarium. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca. I um, am one of the aquarists here. I take care of the sharks and I'm really really excited to be showing you what species we have here and a little bit about them. You guys ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> so here we have the um, chain cat shark or chain dogfish. Um, they will live in tide pools. They also live in um, like rocky outcroppings and they'll um, be hiding in there. They're very good camouflagers, so they will uh, be able to camouflage with their, behind, with their backgrounds. Um, as you will see right over here, we do actually have some shark baits from them. Um, the wire-like fibers will actually um, attach to um, some substrates such as rocks, corals, other plants, um, and that they will be able to swim off and that it will stay attached to keeping them safe. All right, here in this exhibit, we actually have a swell shark. They're really cool and they have a really cool ad adaptation um, where they'll actually gulp water when they're threatened, making themselves two times bigger than they actually are. Um, this makes them harder to eat for predators. We also have some eggs in here that they're um, able to lay on some substrate, getting them caught and then they're safe on the substrate. These guys live about 15 to 20 years um, and they are really cool in the fact that they actually communicate through um, glowing a little bit of a green sometimes and it's really, really cool. Next we actually have the sandbar shark. This is our shark reef exhibit. Um, sandbar sharks are really easy to identify because they've got really long, big triangular um, dorsal fins. They have really long pectoral fins, which are the ones on the side. Um, our sandbar sharks will live about 20 to 30 years. They are viviparous, which means that they give live births. They will typically eat certain types of fish. We feed them mackerel, herring, sometimes we feed them some capelin, which are kind of like large sardines. So next we're going to be talking about the zebra shark. We've got these spots all over them. They actually get the zebra name from when they're juveniles or pups. They have zebra-like patterns and it's really, really cool. Well, they're benthic, so they're going to be on the bottom most of the time. They're pretty chill. They don't like a whole lot of divers or blue snorkelers getting close to them. Um, but they're really cool to look at if you're able to see them. We have the um, spotted and tasseled wobegongs. They're really cool. They, look, they have these little tassels that come off of their face called barbells, and they will use those to de detect prey like mackerel, herring, shrimp, other things that will just fit into their mouth at all. And they're really cool because they'll sit on rocky like outcroppings, they'll sit on um, whole areas just to blend in. We have our bonnet heads. They are closely related to the great hammerhead, but they are much smaller species. Um, they only get to about three feet long. You can tell the difference between them because they have a, a spade-shaped head 